welcome to today's session so we continue looking at the 2021 grade 12 gce mathematics paper 2. so our question of interest today is a question four in this fourth episode so the first three episodes we looked at question one two and three so question four leads in a group of 60 football fans, 37 support team A, 28 support team B, 29 support team C. Two support team A and team C only, three, five support team B and team C only, seven support team A and team B only, 18 support team A only, and 10 support all three teams. Illustrate this information in the Venn diagram. That's our first question. So the first thing is, let us draw these uh, three sets. So we're going to have set A. So this is set A, then this is set B, then this is set C. Then we have the Venn diagram outside like this. Where E? So the first thing is we need to ask our question, are there elements that are found in the all the three sets that's the starting point then if nothing you light it s you put it in x so that you solve for it so in this case like we've been given there are 10 who supports all the three teams so here we have 10 in the middle 10 we are good then we are told that we have let us start from the bottom go up we have 18 who support team a only so 18 team a only so team a only is found here so this is it team a only you see nothing in a nothing in b so there we are putting uh, 18 okay then seven support team a and team b only so that's it team a intersection so I found in A and B only, but not in C. That's what it means. So here we have a 7. Then uh, we have 5. So 5 support team B and C only. 5 support team B and C only. So 5 are found in A, in B and C, but not in A. So the 5 is here. Then we have 2 support team A and C only. So they are found in A and C, but not in B. So these are basically two, which is here. Okay, then we are told that in total, those who support team A, they are 20, they are 37. So we have basically 18 plus 2 is 20 plus 10, 30 plus 7, we have 37, which is collect. Then you can do the same for B to find the one that are missing. So we have in total 28 in team, who support team B, so we have... 10 plus 5, 15 plus 7, which is 20, 22. So in total, there are 28 minus 22 that we know. We have uh, basically a 6. So 6 are the one who supports team B only because the total number of football fans in team in the set B should be 28. So similarly, we do the same for team C. There are 29 in total. Then we already know. 5 that support also support team B, then also know 2 who support team C, team A, then we also know 10 who support both team A and B. So it will be 5 plus 10, 15 plus 2, 17. Then so we have uh, basically 29. From 29 we take out 17, we remain with 12. So 12 are the one who only support team C. So basically this is how you uh, complete the Venn diagram to get that uh, basically the the, the two marks okay the two marks here okay that's good so once we do that it's, it becomes much more easier for you to answer the list of the questions so let us look at question uh, b so b the number of fans that do not support team b so the number of elements in b complement so b so the elements that are not found in b Okay, so we know that in total, how many are in B? Supposed to be that 28, and how many fans are in total? There are 60. So it's 60 minus 28, which is equal to basically nothing but 32, as easy as that. 32. If you want to take a lot of time, you just say you are going to add 12 plus 2, which is 14 plus 18, 32. You still get 32. So that's how you answer uh, question one to get this one mark. Then let us go to B. Uh, this is uh, Lumen numeral 2B. So let us go to B. We've done A. So B, 
A intersection B complement. So what you are saying, the fans that support A and B, okay, which is, they are 17. But we are saying those that are not found there inside. So if A, those who support A and B, they are 17. So how can you find those who do not support A and B? So just the total number, we take out those who support A and B at the same time, which is 17, which is 10 plus uh, 7, which is basically the difference is 43. 43 that's how we find the, this one so you want to take a lot of time you can add 18 plus 2 plus 12 plus 5 plus 6 you end up with uh, uh, 43 so basically this is how you answer this part of the question then let us go to the last one uh, a union b complement so the number of fines that are not find, found in a and d either in A and B. So when you combine A and B, you form a new set, and those that are not found there. So it's those who don't support either A or B. That's what I'm interested in. So either A or B, what it means is we are combining A and B, we form this set. You've seen this set? The one laid, 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 you've seen this. So the one that is outside is only this, which is the 12. So basically, it's basically what we're saying is these are 12. Or alternatively, we could add 5 plus 6 plus 7, plus 10 plus 2, 2 plus 18 which is 48 so 48 from 60 we get 12 so basically this is how you answer question 4 to get that 5 marks so let us go to um, uh, question 4b okay this is we've done Loma numero c of 2 let us go to this b now so let me just move to the new so b is given that the determinant of the matrix A, the determinant of the matrix A is, this is matrix A, is equal to negative 10. Find the value of X. So the value of X. So when you're given a matrix, this is a general matrix, a 2 by 2. Okay. The determinant of A, let us say this is A. The determinant of A, which I'll call this, or is given by A multiplied by D. So A, D minus bc so we have this is the determinant formula so in the similar way in the similar way we have this matrix 2x minus 1 then 1 then 4 minus 2 so what you do is to find the determinant you multiply so just cross multiply this by that then that by that so you get basically 2 multiplied by 2 negative 2 minus multiplied by 2x minus 1 then minus 4 times 1 which is that 4 times 1 is basically a 1. And this should be equal to negative 10. So we have negative 2, negative 4x, basically negative 2 times 2x, negative 4x plus 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 10. Because 1 times 4 is a 4. So we are ending up with basically negative 4x uh, minus 2 is equal to negative 10. Okay? Is equal to negative 10. Then we solve for x. So we're trying to solve for x, okay? When you solve for x, basically what we end up with is basically we end up with minus 4x equals negative 10 plus 2. So we end up with more negative 4x is equal to negative 8. Then we solve for x by dividing by negative 4. So x is equal to a 2. So x is equal to 2. So that's how you get these two marks. So x is equal to 2. So if x is equal to 2, what it means, what it means is our new matrix, which is now A, this matrix, becomes, so 2, we replace 2, X here, 2 times 2 is C, 4 minus 1, we get a 3. Then we have 1, then we have 4, then we have negative 2. So this is the matrix after we solve for X. Okay, so basically, then... Um, Lemma numerator 2b leads the inverse of matrix A. So we need to find the index of matrix A. So remember we've been given already the determinant. So finding the matrix, the inverse is much more straightforward and easier. So let us use this space that we've created. So to find the, the A inverse, what you do is you divide by, remember when you're given a general matrix, to find the inverse, so you need to divide by the 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 the, 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 the determinant. So it's 1 divided by the determinant. In this case, the determinant is 10. Then you multiply by. 
Now, what happens to the original matrix when you are finding the inverse? What happens is basically what will happen is uh, these two will swap the position. So we have a negative two here, which was here. Then three comes there. Okay. Then these two swap the signs. Okay. So now initially they were positive, so they become negative. So they take the op opposite signs without uh, changing the position. You see, like this. Then simplifying this is negative 10, 10 times positive negative 2, we get a positive 2 over 10. Then this one and this one, this one and this one, we get a positive 1 over 10. Then this one and that one, we get a, a positive 4 over 10. Then this one and this one, we get negative 3 over 10. You seen this? When you simplify this one further, you end up with basically 1 over 5, then 1 over 10, then we end up with a basically 4 over, so which is 2 over 5. So 2 over 5, then we have uh, the same negative 3 over uh, 10. Negative 3 over 10, correctly, as the inverse matrix. So basically, that's how you solve uh, this kind of a question to get the two marks. Thank you for joining us. Join us as we look at question 5 in episode 5. Thank you.